Good morning, PHS, and welcome to WPHS News on National Eat What You Want Day. I'm Nastasia with a look at today's news. There will be a short meeting today for any seniors going on the Cedar Point trip. If you have fifth period lunch, you will meet in Miss Wolf's room, 304 West. If you have seventh lunch, meet in Mr. Vincent's room, 227 and a half C. National English Honor Society is holding a book giveaway tomorrow at City Park. If you have any books you are finished reading and would be willing to donate, please bring them to Miss Hyman's room, 316 South. Then come to the giveaway on Saturday to find a new book to read for the summer. Applications are now available to be the Big Red Indian for the 2023-24 school year. Any student with a 2.0 GPA who will be in grades 9 through 12 next year may apply. This is a great way to get involved by being the face of the school in the community. See Mrs. King in the Student Service Center for more information. Applications are due to Mrs. King by May 19th. Here's Ryan with a look at today's weather and Allison with the random fact of the day. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Today's weather will be cloudy with a high of 79 and a low of 62. Did you know there is 4 million teachers in the United States? I'm Raleigh with a look at what's happening in sports. The baseball team beat South in sectionals on Wednesday 10-7. The girls tennis team competes at the state tennis tournament today in Charleston. Mandatory concussion testing for fall athletes for the 2023-24 school year begin this week. Athletes must complete concussion testing by June 29th if they want to compete in the fall. Girls, soccer, juniors, and seniors will test tonight from 3.45 until 6. Volleyball, cheer, and golf will test next week. All testing will take place in the annex. Here's Katie with today's lunch. Today's lunch will be Cook's Choice. Hi class of 2023, this is Mr. Stevens. And as I've told my students in class, this group is maybe the most special I've ever had. And um, it's an exciting thing to get to graduate with you. And uh, I'm just so blessed to have been your teacher uh, and to have been your senior class sponsor. And I'm really gonna miss you guys. Uh, you're a special group of people. And I know that you're gonna make such a big difference in the world. And I hope that you will come back and visit. And uh, I love you all. God bless. Congratulations, class of 2023. Go do great things and don't ever stop reading. Hey guys, I really enjoyed having all of you. Well, most of all of you. Yeah, all of you, yeah. Anyway, I wanna leave you with a message. I left last year with the seniors and I think it's very, very apt. And I mean it from my heart. Um, as you know, my favorite drummer is Neil Peart, the late Neil Peart from Rush. He wrote their lyrics and he has a saying that I try to live by. This is his saying. The measure of a life is a measure of love and respect. So hard to earn, so easily burned. So just chew on that, remember that. And remember, you guys all have a good head on your shoulders. Use that head. Come back and see me. See ya. Hola, señores. Muy buenos días. I wish all of the seniors the best in their future endeavors, and I want to let you know how rewarding it is to walk with you all at graduation. So I'll see you there. Hi, class of 2023. This is Miss Blaker, the English teacher speaking. Uh, I just want to tell you how proud we are of you and how special you all are, especially to me. Uh, you are the last class that I had as freshmen and as seniors. So you guys are a special class to me uh, and you have been really fantastic this year. I hope you've learned a lot while you're at Parkersburg High School. And I really hope that you remember the words of Maury Schwartz when he says, devote yourself to loving others, devote yourself to your community, and devote yourself to creating something that gives you meaning and purpose because i think if you live by that you're going to have a really fantastic life congratulations class of 2023 congratulations seniors you've made it you are at the end of the year you are on to bigger and better things good luck next year we can't wait to see what you guys all do congrats seniors you all have had one heck of a senior year and really a high school career congratulations on making it through you're going to do great things in life we will miss seeing you very much in the hallways, and I hope that you enjoy not seeing us. <laughs> hey, 
Class of 2023, congratulations. You made it. Good luck in the future. If you ever need anything, call me up. Pour la dernière fois, bonjour mes amis. I want to wish you all the very best. Je suis si, si fière de tous mes élèves qui ont étudié le français. I'm so, so proud of everyone that studied French and are now graduating. Bienvenue. You're welcome to come back anytime. Bon courage dans le futur. Good luck in your future. Au revoir. Hey guys, congratulations to the class of 2023, especially my journalism seniors. You guys are all amazing humans and it's time for you to go out into the world and do amazing things. I wish you the very best in all that you do. Soak in every moment of senior week and graduation. It's a wonderful celebration of all of your accomplishments. Good luck and remember, once a big red, always a big red. Bye. Class of 2023, you'll never know what you mean to me. And me. And me. Hey seniors, we're so proud of you. You made it. We're just, we just want to say that we wish you luck. We're proud of your accomplishments. Hope you come back and see us. You'll always be a big red. Congratulations to all of you. We're going to miss seeing you walk in the halls here. I hope you take great memories with you that you made here at PHS. And just remember, once a big red, always a big red. Morning, seniors. Just wanted to take a couple seconds here to say congratulations. I mean, you did it. Uh, this class is a very humble class. I've said that before. We don't have a lot of issues in this class. And, um, and I think it has a lot to do with what you've faced over the last four years. It has made you humble, and I appreciate that. And you're very resilient uh, going through all the ups and downs of being in person, not in person. Um, all the adversity you have faced over the last four years, the whole world has faced. And I'm very proud of you and I'm excited for your next step in life. Just remember that now that you've graduated, um, now that you're getting ready to graduate, I should say, uh, you're gonna be a part of a long red line of tradition of graduates clear back, you know, to when the school first opened. So remember that high school has a great place in your heart for good and bad memories and that's okay but it helps you grow to be a person but my point my point being is that i just want you to appreciate the moments that you're going to have over the next week with caller day and tap day and graduation practice because it'll be things you'll never forget congratulations Thank you for watching WPHS News. Join us next time for the latest PHS update.